Well, as a general statement, um, I believe that democracy should be what President Reagan held it out to be in the United States, a shining city on the hill, a beacon to which others look for example, uh, for inspiration, uh, for direction. And when it comes to aspects of social media and their effect on our democracy, uh, clearly the United States needs to come to grips with what appear to be very significant challenges to our democracy. The, the challenges of social media silos or echo chambers in which people go further and further down a certain road uh, in terms of what they, they see as, as facts, as reality, uh, as views. And clearly this has been used by uh, elements on either side of the political divide. Uh, it has made the situation in Washington hyper-partisan uh, as you analyze it. It has made compromise uh, very, very difficult. Uh, coordination, conciliation, working together uh, doesn't seem to happen the way it used to. You know, the good old days were never as good as one imagines 20 or 30 years later. But I do think that there was room for working together for compromise, uh, for making way together in the past that does not seem to be as present today. And that is not, I don't think, at least from my perspective, the kind of example, uh, the kind of inspiration that we want to provide to the rest of the world. So we clearly have to come to grips with this phenomenon and determine how we can make it uh, a development that supports uh, democracy and uh, enhances the debates and discussions that are part of our freedom of the press and freedom of expression and freedom of assembly and religion and so forth, uh, rather than developments that are poisoning the relationships between those on either sides of various issues.